Hi, welcome to a new video. I have my fan directly behind the camera because it is incredibly hot today. And I'm, I'm not hungover, but I feel like the heat and not enough sleep really makes me feel hungover. I didn't even have like a full glass of wine last night for New Year's. It is the 1st of January and I'm going to be filming today a couple of wrap up of the year videos. Both the December wrap up stuff, like my normal haul and wrap up and a best of the year. So all of those will be coming out over the next little while. We're starting off with my December haul because it should be the fastest and funnest to film and we'll go from there. We'll see how many I actually get done today, but let's get started. I picked up 14 books this month. Um, quite a few of them are pre-orders. One of them I've already finished. Some of them are sequels to things I've finished the past couple of months. Um, and some of them were gifts, so let's get started. So firstly, the book I've already finished, so this will also be coming up in my wrap up, which I'm filming today, uh, is The Death of Jane Lawrence by Caitlin Starling. This is a uh, gothic horror. Um, we follow Jane as she gets married and moves into her husband's house. Anything more than that really would be a spoiler. This was wild, I'll be talking about it in my wrap up. But yeah, I picked up this one. A couple of middle grade sequels, prequels. This one's a prequel is Everdark by Abby Elphinstone. This is the prequel short story. Like it looks kind of chunky here, but the text is quite big. Um, in the, what's the series called? The Unmapped Chronicles. So this is like a 0.5 to Rumble Star and Jungle Drop and the new one that just came out. Um, I've read those two, so I'm very excited to get my hands on this, and I'll be reading this sometime soon, I'm sure. Um, I also picked up A Spoonful of Murder by Robin Stevens, which is the next Murder Most Unladylike that I'm up to, uh, which is like book six. Yes, book six. Um, this one is set in Hong Kong, and I'm really excited to read this. I think it's going to be really fun, and... I like I like the series a lot. I love middle grade mystery. This is a great example of that. So I'm yeah very happy to get the next one in this series. All right, how about we move to some books that are on my they were on my clear shit TBR, um, which means I will be reading them in the next couple of months very soon. So I'm prioritizing reading those books. So I'm excited for all of them. So there's four here that are on that priority. Two of them I'm trying to read in January. So. Um, first up we have Redemptor by Jordan Fuego. This is the sequel to Ray Bearer, which is a book I really, really loved. I read it last year, not last year, now 2020. Um, and it's an African inspired fantasy, West African, I believe. Um, and I absolutely loved Ray Bearer, so I'm very excited to read Redemptor. Um, we follow something, Tarasai, who, uh, gets sent by her mother to become friends with the prince um, and be part of his uh, group of like protectors that are all magically bound to him. And then she's like tasked secret, like it's, it's hard to explain without spoiling, but she's given like a secret mission to kill him, but she doesn't know about it either, but she's like bound to it. Um, I loved book one. Can't wait to read this. It is a duology, so this is the conclusion. Um, I also picked up The God of Lost Words by AJ Hackworth, which is the third and final, I believe, Hell's Library novel. The first one was The Library of the Unwritten. Um, and I really loved book one and two. Paige has already read this, my bestie Paige, who got me the first one, I think. And she's already read this and keeps yelling at me, telling me I have to read it as soon as possible. So I'm going to try and read this in January as well. Um, and it is filling, if you've seen on Twitter, there's been like a viral trend of um, 12 recommendations from 12 friends. And this is going to, is my recommendation from Paige. So I'm going to definitely try and prioritize this in January to tick off the first one of those as well. Also on my clear your shit TBR, so coming up in the next couple of months, hopefully February or March, is A Psalm of Storm and Silence by Roseanne A. Brown. This is the sequel to A Song of Rates and Ruin and it is the conclusion to the duology again. Um, and this is a chunky little uh, African inspired fantasy and I really, really liked book one. Um, so I'm very excited for this. I have heard it's not quite as dark and intense as book one, but I still hope I really enjoy it. So I can't wait to read it. 
And another sequel to a duology is Our Violent Ends by Chloe Gong, which is also on my Kalusha TBR and getting read as soon as possible. Um, and this is a uh, Romeo and Juliet retelling set in 1920s Shanghai with rival gangs. Um, this is the sequel to Our Violent Delights, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, and so again, I'm really excited to read this and hopefully I love it. And I need to read it ASAP because I always want to be on the ball with Chloe Gong because all of her stuff sounds amazing. So I don't want to miss her next book because I haven't read this. I have a rule that I have to like take a book off by an author before I can put one on, which is maintained in most cases. So got to read this and I'm really, really excited for it. <laughs> okay, we have one other backlist title here from finishing a previous book by this author. Um, so I read A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee a couple of months ago, so I decided to go back and pick up The Fever King, which is in her backlist catalogue. Um, apparently this is a really dark, um, it deals a lot with grief and um, trauma and stuff, and I've heard amazing things. I know Fadwa from uh, Word Wonders really loved this, so I'm really, really excited to read this. Um, it is set in the United States, and our main character, no Noam? Wakes up in a hospital bed, the sole survivor of the viral magic that killed his family and made him a technopath. I'm very excited to read this. It's a bit chunky. It's like 360 pages of like pretty small text, but hopefully I love it. And yeah, I've heard really good things about this and I really, really enjoyed A Lesson in Vengeance and this was her debut, I believe, or their debut. Next up we have a sequel I purchased and that is Girls of Fate and Fury by Natasha Nyan which is the conclusion to the Girls of Paper and Fire series which I have been reading as they came out and really really enjoying. I didn't like book two as much as the first book but hopefully book three like wraps everything up really well so I'm looking forward to it. This series is um a Asian inspired fantasy where there's different casts of people who vary from like entirely human to part human part beast to like full beast um and our main the main character in the first book lay becomes a concubine a paper girl to um the um demon king and falls in love with one of her fellow concubines ren um and it's kind of like exploded out from there i'm really excited to get to this i'm not sure what will happen but i'm working on it <laughs> I also picked up uh, The Midnight Girls by Alicia Jasinska. I didn't love this author's first book, which was, um, what was it called? I actually ended up DNFing it. The Dark Tide. This is an Australian author. Um, I didn't love The Dark Tide. Uh, there was just some writing issues that weren't quite right with me, but everyone was recommending this so intensely. And I asked a few people who were recommending this, like Bronte on, uh, TikTok who's I think she's a Sydney based um bookseller and she was raving about this and I said I do not like the dark tide would I like this and this is like two girls falling in love as they're two monstrous girls one heart to consume and a rivalry that could cost them everything is the tagline and that really appeals to me but yeah the writing style of her first book didn't work for me and I asked Bronte I was like would I like this even though I didn't like dark tide and she said I really think you could so we're gonna give this a try, um, and yeah, I, I, I think it could be great. I also picked up um, a contemporary romance, I think it's a romance, um, but it's queer, and that is uh, The Charm Offensive by Alison Cochran, which is a, um, the, it's a reality, a gay dating show kind of scenario, um, and I think it's the, the, star and one of the like producers i've heard really great things my friend tash really loved this um and i'm gonna try and read it in february because i'm gonna try and do like a mostly romance can uh february um i obviously will still be doing book obly deals so that might throw a spanner in the works but i'm gonna try and read mostly romance books in february um and this is gonna be one of those Next up we have the LGBTQ plus read subscription service book of the month and this month Dahlia picked for me Tonight We Rule the World by Zach Smedley. This is obviously queer and I believe it's like a dark, um, yeah so the main character was sexually assaulted by a classmate and the 
this novel follows like the investigation and all of the all of the like interconnected politics around the school but also friendships and relationships and how that all comes into question as like this is revealed and investigated um sh Dahlia was telling me that th I was asking for Rex of something that she thought fell under everyone's radar and she said that she hardly heard anyone talking about this but she thought it was absolutely amazing so I was like yes and give it to me um so yeah I I'm really excited to read this to see what like if I like it as much as she did because I think it could be really good so and then finally, my Christmas gift from uh, Paige has arrived. I'm still waiting on some Christmas gifts, and I'm, I've got a couple of gift cards. Actually, something I purchased with a gift card. What did I... My housemate Linda got me a gift card that I bought something with. Um, what was the last thing I purchased? I think it was Everdark. I picked that up on her gift card, so we can sell that a gift from her. Um, but this is, these two, I still have a gift card I'm going to be spending in January and still more on that gift card I'll be spending so as things come in in January. They will also be on gift cards. Um, but a gift, my gift from Paige that she picked out for me from my list of like things I was interested in. Um, she got me two books and this is the last of the haul. We have The River Has Teeth by Erica Waters, which is, um, this is the author of Ghostwood Song, which I read recently and absolutely loved and I bullied Paige into reading and I'm pretty sure she loved it too. Um, and I, yes, I'm so excited about this. Um, I think it will be really, really good. And, um, it's all about, like, monsters in the, the main character's sister is missing. And, and the other character, she thinks the monster is her mother. I'm really excited for, for this. I've been eyeing it off for ages. Um, and the other one she got me was A Rush of Wings by uh, Laura E. Weymouth. I've read Laura E. Weymouth's other stuff. I, they've always been like a high four, like a four star, high three star situation, but they've always been really intriguing and I've enjoyed them, like the moments reading them. And so I'm really excited to keep reading what she puts out because I think they're only going to get better and better. Um, and this one is stunning. So here's the under the dust jacket how beautiful how beautiful i think this is a goose girl inspired story but not a direct retelling um ee! the book face it is not the right size for me there we go mm, <laughs> um i am really excited for this as well i think it's absolutely stunning um and yeah so the main character has magic but her mother wouldn't teach her but then her mother dies and she's trying to figure out what happened, but also how to claim her magic, etc, etc. Um, and I am very excited about it. Oh, I have to clear space on my camera. Anyway, these... <laughs> oh. I um, had to clear off my camera, of course. But... Oh, these are all the books I picked up in December. Um, I am very excited for my January haul as well because I'm very excited to see what I end up getting on some of these gift cards. But yeah, so those those are all the books I picked up. Can you? Yeah, yeah. If you read any of these, let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear them in a very like non-spoilery, simple way. So love to hear it. Um, my most anticipated is probably god of lost words but the one i'm like most curious about is tonight we rule the world so thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you soon in another one <laughs> thanks for watching bye